Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save this game here. Call this. Cheers. Some little horseshoes over here I can pick up. To pick up something, you can either point on with it and click, or just face it with your character, just hit the space bar, and they'll pick it up. Uh, fountains have can have beneficial or non-beneficial. See, this one restores health. I think this one does uh, magic points. And this one here does might, which kind of help, helps out a lot in this initial stage. So up here is one of the uh, magic guilds. It's where you have to go to buy all your spells. Unless you find a book, you know, in your travels. Members only. It says you must be a member of this guild to study here. So we need to go down in here to the town and find out somebody who will sell us guild membership. Same thing with this place too. You'll have to sign up first. See, here's a place where you can you can buy a uh, weapon skill, weapon and armor skills, but we have to be a be a member of the guild first. So there are three rudimentary 3D models in this game. All of the buildings are rudimentary 3D models. These guys are what are known as sprites. They're a one-dimensional image that, uh, you know, kind of, as a cartoon would, put in different mess, uh, positions to make it look like uh, they're moving. Greetings. Liches. Some sorcerers have cheated death itself in their attempts to gain power. These sorcerers trade in their uh, trade their lives for eternal life as an undead. I can't imagine the lust for power that would cause someone to trade their souls. Liches are powerful and determined. You should be careful fighting them. Good advice. Copra eggs. I am a collector of more uh, of rare and exotic creatures and I make a living by selling some of these creatures to, as pets. Currently cobras are in great demand. I don't have many cobras left to sell. Therefore I'm willing to pay you handsomely for any cobra eggs you may have. Remember, if you find any cobra eggs, I'll give you the best prices. And this guy sells us the uh, membership to the Buccaneer's Lair. He says, Psst. Want to buy a membership in the Buc Buccaneer's Lair? We have two chapters in uh, two chapter houses in the kingdom, and we support our members by teaching them certain unvaluable skills. I'm sure you know what I mean. I guess there are skills that uh, I'm kind of on the shady side. <laughs> All we want is 25 gold pieces, and our services are at your disposal. Thank you. So we will buy that. How you doing? This guy so sells us a blade it, blades in membership. Hey, the Blades Inn uh, Mercenaries Guild wants you, provided you're willing to pay a small fee to the uh, to join. For 25 gold pieces, we'll give you access to teachers for uh, for many of the skills a good sword for hire needs to succeed, including a sword. Thank you. So we will do that. Sometimes they these guys say nothing of, of value. <laughs> someone has to do all the grunt labor around here. Too bad someone is me. Hey man, I feel you, brother. How you doing? Uh, this guy's a teacher. So if we if we learn the body skill and then we get it up high enough, we can come to him and learn the the, the uh, skill uh, the body skill expert level. Greetings. Don't know why that's popped up, but 
going to have to live with it. Nice to see. To make strong, excellent pottery, you really need a hot fire. If it weren't so dangerous, I'd make a trip to Castle Craigspire to try out the fires there they're supposed to, ha to have under the castle. They've got cast fires under the castle. This lady has a quest. Oh dear, can you help me? My daughter Angela is missing. I think she may have wandered into the abandoned temple near town. And if she did, she could be in terrible danger. Who knows what kind of horrible things are lurking in that cursed place. Please find her and bring her back to me. She also sells a membership to the Guild of the Self. It is my sacred duty to accept donations for the Guild of the Self. If you contribute 100 gold, kind of pricey, we will grant you Guild member status. Members are permitted to buy spells for any Guild, uh, guild of the Self in the land. Good thing you can only have to you only have to buy it twi uh, once. Hey, how's it going? This guy sells us elemental guild memberships, so the one that we went to before. I am the one you need to speak with in order to join the guild of the elements. The cost to join is 100 gold pieces. Only members may purchase spells from our fine library. The guild's ha guild has spells from all four elements elemental disciplines and all guilds in the kingdom we have two guild halls membership is in one automatically enrolls you in the other Much obliged. lords Enroth is ruled by a king and the council of five lords these six people handle the laws rules and matters of state in all of Enroth our town is periodically plagued by giant spiders I'm pretty sure that if the spider queen were killed the rest of the spiders would go away currently I'm offering a reward to the person that can kill the Spider Queen. So it looks like we're going to have to go fight spiders. I hate spiders. Ugh. That's the temple up there. You can go in there to heal. Okay, these people. So everyone's, you can go up to a villager and click on, hey, good to see you. Click on them and they'll... Uh, they'll have just random information pushy nobles I can't even now you have to have a certain reputation to talk to them and some of them won't talk to you even if you have a good reputation so you have to weigh that I can't even begin to understand how unpleasant working for no, working for the nobility is they may have money but no other client is so pushy demanding and uncaring about the way they use your time <laughs> even they have their own elitists Regan pirates it's been decades since we were last attacked by Regan Pirates on the island of Regna. And I guess it's about time for us to be attacked again. What with the king missing and all. So the king is missing. Oh, we got some goblins hanging out up on top of that building. Let's go up there and kill them. So whenever these crystals down here next to the port little character portraits turn red, that means there's a monster. Now if you hit enter, you can enter into turn-based combat. It's a little bit easier to deal with monsters when the... Okay, so we killed that guy. Click on him and loot him. Uh, you can also use A. A to attack, S to cast a spell. You need to set up quick, quick spells. So this one will set up as a spell we can cast by just pushing, pressing S. This guy will set up a cold beam. This one doesn't miss. Yes. Uh, we will put. Uh, just give him the heal spell. Okay. Looks like they're out of range. This dude. We will do. Uh, I think static charge doesn't miss. Targets a single monster with a jolt of static electricity. It only does two to six points of damage, but it always hits. 
This guy also has a spell called Wizard Eye. It's very, pretty, pretty useful. Turn it on and it'll show you the uh, little red, the little red dots here are the bad guys. Show you where the monsters are. So I think we have still have a couple more. So if we hide behind this uh, this wall until they come into into view, maybe we can get the drop on them. Or we could just be brave. Hit enter, move forward, hit enter again, then we'll spec into turn based. There are only two up here? Okay. So he's running from us, so he's. We might be able to kill him. There we go. Building here, too. Hey, good to see you. Okay, here's the learning trainer. And these trainers, they'll always tell you where the next step is. So if we go find John Tuck in Silver Cove, we can learn master training from him. Uh, there's, we find crates around here from time to time. Uh, I don't think these are trapped. So got some good stuff in them. So this guy can use leather armor, so we'll give it to, the, to him. Some money. Uh, now anything that you find, uh, you won't know what it is initially. So you can either take it to a shop to have them identify it, or you can train one of your guys and identify an item, which is what we'll be doing with this guy here soon. Whenever these things turn yellow, that means a monster is near. So you can see goblins hidden over the uh, uh, the hill to come attack us, but they don't. Uh, they can't trap. They can't cross the water. I could sit here and take pot shots at them with a with a bow. If I wanted to. I'm not gonna bother with it right now. I don't know, they might find their way over these over the Nope, doesn't look like they're gonna be able to get up over the, the bridge. We'll just leave them there for now. There's another well that uh, can give you some uh, a boost. Go. Uh, whenever you make a level, how it comes here training? to train, and it'll also tell you how much experience you need to go to, to level to the next level. Uh, gotta go over here to the town hall real quick. They've got a couple of quests for us as well, and some of these buildings are open only open during certain times of the day. Your mouth put your mouse pointer over this, and it'll tell you what time of day it is. And the date. The date's also very important in this thing because certain certain things only happen on certain days. I need your help. Frank Fairchild, Goblin Raiders. A raiding party of goblins has attacked, has staked out the West Bridge, hoping to rob and kill uh, travelers. They aren't very subtle. You can you can see them from a mile away, but they are dangerous. Watch your step. Members of the Shadow Guild have moved down south recently and have been trying to exert their influence over merchants in the area. I refused them access to our town, so they kidnapped Sherry Carnegie, an old healer loved by the uh, townspeople in an attempt to convince me to let them operate here. I can't believe that their exert <coughs> exhortation or extortions have moved so far south. I thought I was safe from that down here. Please rescue Sherry. I can, I can offer you some money as a reward, and I'm sure the townspeople people will will appreciate it in return. So you'll get money, and then you'll get reputation uh, by completing this quest. So tired of the Shadow Guild, but I don't have 
any substantial proof of their activities. I'd love to have something that I could show to Anthony Stone proving the Shadow Guild is up to no good down here. Tuesdays. We get all of our important shipments in on Tuesday. So what she means is uh, all the shops around here are restocked on Tuesdays. Or they'll, they'll change their uh, um, their items. Goblin Watch. Just south of town is an old keep called Bog Goblin Watch. And see they gave us a key here. So just give it to one of your, char uh, one of your characters. It was originally built to help keep the town safe from goblin raids, but times have been so peaceful recently that we haven't been taking care of it. You can imagine our embarrassment when we realize that the very monsters we were guarding against have moved into the keep. They also changed the lock on a very important door depending uh, down leading to the caves below the uh, dungeon level. We have a standing reward of 2,000 gold pieces to the ones who can figure out the combination and tell us what it is. So that's a pretty simple quest that we could go do. And they also do uh, bounty hunting. So each month a, a different monster will become the bounty. And if you kill it, you can come back here and turn it in. So a, a devil worker. It's worth 4,000 gold pieces, so it's a pretty hefty monster. <laughs> Not anything we could deal with in our current situation. Alright, so let's clean up. There's some little pockets of monsters around here. So let's clean those up. I think there's some hanging out over here. There's some up there on that cat, uh, next, next to that place. That's the, uh, Goblin Watch. There's some down here on this bridge. I think these are the ones that that fellow was talking about. One of them's casting spells at us. So we're gonna need to go in use this uh, we'll use this to uh, this wall for protection just hang out here and let them kind of come to the opening and then we can attack them right click on one of the monsters it'll show you their portrait and what type of monster it is and how much health they've got. I think see over here is a, a, a shaman. See he's got a little more health, a little more powerful. how valuable Bo is. Oh, I've got one snuck up on us. Get them down low enough into the red, they'll start running away. Guys are a little harder to hit. Too far away to loot. See if we can get to come around the corner. Every 
once in a while you can shoot them through walls. <laughs> Goblin's too smart for us. If you get them like that, you can just hit enter. Sometimes let them do. Let them try to get themselves unstuck, but I think he's stuck on the wall. Yeah, we may have to run up here and get closer to him and attack him. Those guys. 